Kaira bashinta la babonti ribi sinta. Kaira bashinta babonti sinta. Ribi sinta. We 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 come this morning. We worship you, Lord. We glorify you, Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth, the Lord of lords, the King of kings. Demons tremble by the sound of your name. Lord, you are God on yourself. You are Almighty God. You have created heaven. You have created earth. You have created us. You have created everything on earth. Almighty God, you are King. Almighty God, you are God. Almighty God, there is none other above thee. There is none other under thee. There is none other Lord above thee, Almighty God. Heavenly Father, creator of heaven and earth, creator of the soul, creator of the heart, creator of your word. You are the word. You are the word. You are God. You are almighty God. Jesus, the only son of God, the son of man, God almighty. We worship you, Lord. I came to worship you, Lord. I came to worship you. I came to worship you, Almighty God. Holy Spirit, we ask for your presence. 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 Holy Spirit, come in your splendor. Holy Spirit, come in your honor. Holy Spirit, come in your power. Lord, fill this place. Fill this place. Fill this place. Fill every seat. Fill our heart. Oh my God, this altar, let this day, Lord, belong to you. Let this day be an extraordinary day. Holy Spirit, be present. Be present. Be present. Heavenly Father, we worship you. We glorify you, Almighty God. We worship you, Almighty God. We worship you, Almighty God. Kaya Rabba Shinta Lababonti Ribi Sinta. Kuti Ribu Shinta Lababonti. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's praise Almighty God. This is why we are here. That's why we came. Lord, we worship you. Lord, I glorify you. Heavenly Father, your name. Name the name above all other names. I worship you. I glorify you. King of kings. Lord of lords. The great healer. Almighty God. The God of Moses. The God of Isaiah. The God of Jeremiah, the God of Paul, the God of David, the great healer. We worship you, Lord. We glorify you. My heart, my soul, everything that is within me, worship you. I glorify you, Lord. I praise you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kayaraba Shintalaba Bunti. Say, Holy Spirit, be present here, Lord. We need you. We need you. Pray, pray, pray. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Fill this place. Fill every department. Fill every department. Everything that is done. We worship you, Almighty God. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Kayara bashinta laba bonti. Kutiru bashinta. Hallelujah. Jesus. The man of God mentioned something. These are these type of messages that the man of God was mentioning this morning. A lot of preachers don't want to touch on those kind of messages anymore. That Jesus is coming. That Jesus is coming. Amen? And now listen to what the word of God is saying in Matthew 16 verse 27. And I want you to listen carefully to it. I'm not sure is it there. Matthew 16 verse 27. I'll read from the uh, King James Version. And the word of God says, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Hey, yes, that's what I said. Let's, let, me read, let me read it again. Amen? Are you with me? 
Listen carefully. That's why I say the man of God sometimes he hit us nicely. He hit us slowly your heart. But these are the kind of messages that we heard this morning. And it is serious. Matthew 16 verse 27. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father. With, the other scripture says, with all his angels. And then he, God, shall reward every man according to his work. If you come to church for the wrong reason, you have a problem. Amen? So we're going to pray. Whatever it is that will disqualify you for the kingdom of God, Lord, forgive me. Lord, help me. Here's a prayer point. Lord, let me be ready for your coming. Me, myself, and I. Not your sister next door. Me, myself, and I. Amen? You know, whether you know in your spirit whether you're ready or not. Amen? Now, this is what the man of God was saying this morning. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Amen? Hallelujah. So look at yourself and say, Lord, let me be ready for your kingdom. We're going to do that shortly. Let's pray. Lord, I look at myself. Let me be ready for your coming, oh Lord. Let me be ready for your coming. When you come in your glory, when you come with your angels, let me be one of those, Lord, that go back with you to your kingdom as you promised in John 14. Whatever it is that will disqualify me from entering your kingdom, Lord, forgive me. Whatever it is that will disqualify me for your kingdom, forgive me, O oh Lord. Make me worthy to enter your kingdom. Make me worthy to be your child. Help me to forgive my enemies. Help me to forgive whoever has hurt me. Help me, Lord, come into my heart. Cleanse me with your blood. Help me, almighty God. Help me, heavenly Father. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, almighty God. Cleanse me. Help me, almighty God. If you may come today, if you may come now, let me be ready for your kingdom. Let me be ready. Help me, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you believe what you've just done? Do you believe what you've just done? All right. Amen. John 14, verse, verse 8. John 14, verse 8. And this is the last one. John 14, verse 8. Philip said unto him, Lord, shew us the Father, and I suffer the yeah, and suffer us. In other words, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yes, has thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And he, and how sayest thou that you do not know me? Amen? Can we come to church all the time? Some of us will say, I'm here in church for 10 years. Amen? But we don't know Jesus. Amen? Here, we're going to close off with this prayer, and then thereafter, the choir can come. Lord, let me know you. Lord, let me know you. Lord, let me know you. Amen? Let your glory come down. Help me to know you. And how you know God is when he's in your heart, when he's in your soul, when the Holy Spirit talks to you. Let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, let me know you. Help me to know you. Help me to know you, Heavenly Father. Help me to know you. All my good works will not help if I don't know you. All my, my everything I do will not help if I do not know you. Save me all over again. Save my heart save my soul, save my attitude towards you, towards your work. Help me to know you. 
Help me to know you. Me, Lord, I'm talking about myself. Heavenly Father, because you are God. Because you just said in your word that you will come in your glory and in your splendor and with all your angels. I cannot miss that one. I cannot miss your, con your kingdom. Help me to know you, Jesus. Help me to know you. 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 Heavenly Father, here I am. Save my soul. Save me all over again. If I'm not living right, help me. Forgive me of all unrighteousness. If my attitude is not right, help me. Oh Lord, change it, Almighty God. Help me. Give me the fruit of the Spirit according to Galatians 5.22. Help me to know you. Make me your child, Almighty God. I am here in your altar this morning to worship you. To worship you. To worship you, Almighty God. To bring, to uphold your name. To bring you, your name up, my God. Lord, for my soul to connect with your spirit. For my spirit to connect with you, Holy Spirit. Help me to know you. Help me to know you. Help me to know you. Help me in to know you. In the beginning, you have created heaven and earth. You have created me, Jesus. Help me to know you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let's dedicate this service in the hands of God, the word of God, the servant of God. Let's dedicate it into the hands of God. Quickly, let's dedicate it to the hand of God. Let's say, Holy Spirit, let your glory come down this morning. Let this be an extraordinary service this morning. Heal the sick, save the people. Let's pray, let's pray. He Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we dedicate the service of this morning. Your word says, upon this rock, I will build my church and no gates of hell shall prevail against it. Heavenly Father, this is your altar. This is your church. This is your people. We pray for your servant, Dr. Ida Peter Seid. Let your glory, your hand rest upon him and his family, my God. Let your anointing come upon today, my God. Let this be an extraordinary service. Almighty God, take over. Holy Spirit, take over. Thank you already for your presence. Thank you already. We pray for the music. We pray for every department. We pray for every pastor. We pray every, every worker, everyone that is here, everyone that is still deciding to come to your house. Lord, let this be an extraordinary service. Heal the sick. Save your people. Restore your people. Take your people out of bondage, O oh Lord. I glorify and I praise you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you, Heavenly Father. I glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed service. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of us love calling the name of Jesus? Oh, yeah. How many of us know when we call the name of Jesus, things change around us? How many of us believe that when we call the name of Jesus, we are free to praise and worship Him? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Come on, if you love him, I want all of us to clap our hands. We're going to do a new song. Let's just enjoy the presence of God. Hallelujah. Let's go. Let's put our hands.
Innovations, changing lives, bringing elevation. Hello, my name is Evangelist Daniel Pitonsi and I'm an ATV partner. Bonjour à tous, je réponds au nom de Sami Msakai. Je suis aussi en partenariat avec ATV. Hi, Dini Wilkins Baza, Dini partner at ATV. Hi, I'm Precious, I'm an ATV partner. Hi, my name is John, I'm an ATV partner. Hi, my name is Lunga. What are you waiting for? Come partner with ATV as we take God's power to the world. Changing lives, bringing elevation.
generations, changing lives, bringing elevation.
Somebody say hallelujah. Just lift up your hands where you are. Hallelujah. Somebody raise your hands and say hallelujah. For all that you've done, God. Hallelujah. Everything that you do for us. Hallelujah. We thank you for your love, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just one more time. We say hallelujah.
because that's what we came here to do this morning, God. We worship. There is no other God greater than you. There is no king that is above you. Yeah. 
Nani Marasa Kamakaya, or a Pasa Kamakaya, a Gago, a Gago, a Gago, a Gago, a Gago for an hour, a Gago for an hour, a Gago for an hour, and the Marasa Kaya, you are a Pasa Kaya, I am a Pasa Kaya, also come up with a Kaya. There's no one like you, Lord. There's no one like you, Lord. Yao Namu, Yao Namu.
love him, love him, God, love him, love him, love him. He said, Can we go Sakaya? Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name, Father. There's no one like you, Jehovah. There's no one like you, Father. King of kings, Lord of lords, the master of the flesh. Nothing is too hard for you to do. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. Oh, we worship you, Jehovah. In God's name, of course. I got to find an hour. I got to find an hour. I can't go for an hour. I am on a Sakaya. We must take a book on a Gaya. I can't go for a second of Gaya. I said, I can't take a book on a Gaya. We must take a book on a Gaya. I can't go for a second of 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 Gaya. There's no one like you, Lord. There's no one like you, Jehovah. We love you this morning. We've decided to love you, man. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we bless your name, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You have blessed us with a new day. It is our month of glory. Now we have decided to come into your glory and stand in your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Oh, clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus, don't clap for me, don't clap for yourself. Clap for Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, we bless God for this wonderful day. Give your neighbor a high five. Give them a high five and greet them. Greet them, greet, them. greet your brother, greet your sister. This is Christ Ambassador's Church. Take a seat. Please take a seat. Please take a seat. Thank you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. I welcome you to Christ Ambassador's Church, Miracle Center. We bless God for this house. We bless God for Bishop Peter Peter Side, the father of this house. Hallelujah. Clap for the bishop, the visionary, the eye of the project. I would like to welcome all of you in the, in the name of Jesus, even our viewers at home. Everybody all over the world who's watching, we welcome you to Christ Ambassador Church. To all our new visitors, we have a clip for you. We're just going to go quickly to go to the clip to welcome you in the Christ Ambassador's way. Hallelujah. Media. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Don't clap for yourself. Clap for the Lord. <clears throat> now we're going to go back to the media for Christ Ambassador's Church News. Just fix your, your, your eyes on the screen for us. Thank you. The news, Christ Ambassador's News. Okay, we're going to continue. Um, this is our year, our, our year of rejoicing, our month of glory. The Bible said that you must stand in his glory. So you have come to Christ Ambassador's Church, and we believe that the Lord will do it for you today. Hallelujah. 
I'm going to ask, as we are waiting for the CAC news, as they are busy preparing them, I'll just continue. They'll give, us a, they'll give me a note. Um, our testimonies, those that have testimonies, just go and register in the meantime. While we are, for, we are going ahead with our announcements, testimonies, just go and register the back to Brother Wilkins, please. We have a special gathering this month. The gathering. It is our conference month this month. Hallelujah. Our annual conference has come. And, and rejoice. Because I don't know what you're expecting. I'm ready. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. This is our month of the gathering. Our annual conference with Bishop Peter P. Decide. And we'd like to invite you today again. And go invite others to come. And those that are watching also, I urge them to come to the gathering at Christ Ambassador Church in Kempton Park. And we are so excited. And, and we, our, all of our, our groups, everybody else, our mindset is focused on the gathering. So we would like each and every one of you in this church to, to, to join us in this wonderful celebration where we are coming to celebrate the Lord himself, God. And we would like also to urge you to invite people, to invite people to come, to enjoy this thing. If you have found a good thing, you go and tell. Hallelujah. If you find a good thing, you go and tell. Am I right? Hello? Are we here? Amen. So I'd like to, to, to invite each and every group to help us also as we go for the march. All our groups, all our church groups, even our members, anybody who wants to be part of our march, we are marching on the 13th in, uh, at Lynn. We are all meeting here. Then we drive away to go to that side. But all the departments of this church and even yourself you are more than welcome to come and march with us as we as we we, we give away a good word of the gathering in Atlin on the 13th and on the 20th we're going to be doing it local who knows that local is like local is good we are coming to do it in, in Kempton Park our march and we'd like to invite you again each and every member of this church all the workers everyone Come and rejoice with us as we march in Kelton Park to show forth the power of God of this house, the manifestation of the Lord in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is our special service this month. And also, the, the phenomenal women, daughters of fire, they are meeting this Saturday by, uh, by 10 o'clock here at this church. Hallelujah. The daughters of Zion, I would like to urge you, all the ladies, to come and join. Iron sharpens iron. It's not only for the men. Iron still sharpens iron with the ladies as well. So we'd like to welcome you also to come and join the women and, and be part of the, 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 the women of this house. Hallelujah. Also, we have uh, our, our Sunday meeting gathering, our Sunday main service, which starts at 9 o'clock like today. And we have also our Wednesday services at half past six at this house where the man of God gives us the nuggets, the gold nuggets. You don't have to dig deep to get the gold in this house. Hallelujah. You don't have to dig deep to get gold in this house. Come on Wednesday. You'll find the nuggets on the floor, the surface of the ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we here? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Like the bishop always said, you must encourage me also. Encourage me also. We also, we also have on the last, last Wednesday of the month, we have our Holy Communion, fasting and Holy Communion, starting at 6. The difference with this one, we start at 6. On a normal Wednesday, we start at half past 6. So also, just to let you know that you can prepare yourself for that. And also, we have a CIC Hour of Power every Saturday from 8 to 9. Again, we are a, a church that prays. We pray in this house. Hallelujah. We pray in this house. Hallelujah. You guys sound like you're tired. Are you here? We pray in this house. So we invite you to join us on Saturdays. Hour of power in this house. Hallelujah. Also on the phenomenal women as well. They meet every, uh, every second Saturday of the month by 10 o'clock in this house and obviously like I've said this, this, this coming Saturday will be their meeting for this month so going forward that will be the same sequence of 
events or how they meet. And also for more information, you can meet the Phenomenal Women uh, Leadership, Pastor Sophie. And uh, also on the Iron Man. The Iron Man, led by uh, my Pastor Pastor Joe Krobler, they, they meet every Monday of the new month. We already met and we are preparing for the next meeting. But also, we, we urge every man to come. These, these services, all these groups that we have, is to keep you abreast above the word, that the word that you require to, to always get continuously. Remember that the word that you need for faith, you don't hear it once. It is a continuous service. Hallelujah. It is continuous. You must hear the word. Because if you don't hear the word of God, there is a lot of word out there that will bring fear into your heart. So therefore, join the women, join the men, join the youth, and all the activities that we have here, just for us to be always be sharper than a two-edged sword. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the youth, they meet every Friday with Pastor Judge in his house, six o'clock in the evening. And I would like also to ask the parents to also push our youth to come. It is up to us. It is up to us that we lead them to the right path. It is our, our, our decision to show them direction. So I would like the, all the, the parents to channel your children to come to church on a Friday evening. We have transport, if it is your concern. But if you can bring them and take them again, it is all good. But we have transport. We want our youth to be the leaders. It's not even the leaders of tomorrow. They are already leaders now. We have to channel them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, we have a deliverance class and, and a new covenant class with uh, Pastor Methuli every Saturday from 9 to 10. Uh, we also urge those that already have been, have been with the ones that we are calling and updating, checking up on, to also come. If you need more knowledge, more understanding, please come. Please come. This walk of Jesus needs a lot of word. You need a lot of word. The one thing that I can uh, let you know is every time a negative thought comes into your mind and you entertain it. It takes more word of God to, to erase that mindset. Do you know that? Do you know that? So it's important to continuously hear as much as we can of the word of God because we need it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, I just want to showcase the books. Oh, okay. So the clip is ready. The clip is ready. Just fix your eyes on the screen. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Pastor Jacob, for your words. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. The gathering has come. I don't know if you're ready, but I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. We don't have too much time. We can do the other things next week as God gives us grace. We can do our announcements and do uh, every other thing that we, the testimonies we can do next week. Amen. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise your name. Father, we magnify you. Blessed be thy name. Amen. Offering time. Offering time. Please, if you have your tithes, please come forward. Let's pray over them. If you have your offering, stand to your feet. And those of you that made those pledges, please, could you come forward? Even if you have your pledge, so we can pray over them. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift up your tights before him. Our Father, this morning we lift our hands as we bring to you. We ask that you bless every hand that is lifted to give. He said, bring you the tithes to the storehouse of the Lord that there will be meat. Father, because they are in obedience, we ask that you bless every hand, everyone that is given to your kingdom this morning. Do great and mighty things with them. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please cast your, lift up those offerings. Father, we bless the offerings. You said we should not come to your house empty-handed. We pray that you bless every hand that is lifted to give to you this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. it all is you that I see is you that I see and the center of it all is you that I see is you that I see the center of it all is you that I see, is you that I see, and the center, and the center of it all is you that I see, is you that I see, and the center of it all says. It's you that I see. Somebody lift your voice and say, oh, the center of it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Just one more time to dance. Say, oh, the center of it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see, for there is power in your name. Power in your name. Send miracles happen in your name. Happen in your name. As we lift our voice and praise, as we 
is you that I see for there is power in your name miracles happen in your name We lift a voice and praise. Is you that I see? Is you that I see? Come on, if you love Him, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you love Jesus, shout hallelujah. Come on, if you're crazy for Jesus, shout hallelujah. Come on, give somebody a high five and tell them you love them. Tell them I love you. Hallelujah. Tell them you love them. Tell them you love them. Hallelujah. Amen. This is your month of glory. It is your month of glory. Somebody say, my month of my glory. Tell the person by your side, are you ready to shine? You may take your seat in the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We are, we are gradually building up. We're gradually building up to our conference. Amen. Now, let me share a secret with you. If you don't invite somebody, they will not come. If you don't invite somebody, they will not come. Put your hand on your chest and say, I promise. <laughs> Put your hand on your chest. Say, I promise. I will invite somebody to the conference. He said, Jesus, if I invite, you see? Okay, for those of you that have confidence to repeat after me, may God fast forward. Oh no, may God rewind your blessing to five years. Those of you that have confidence. Okay? Put your hand on your chest. If I don't invite somebody, bless me, but keep the old one. So you are not planning to invite somebody the way you are the way we are doing. At least you owe God. You have WhatsApp. It's easy. You don't have to go to somebody's house and knock. Send a message. Hey, we have an important. Please, are you coming? Can I come and bring you? Can I come and take you? At least our first day is our conference. We need to fill up this place. So it's your prerogative to invite people to church. Amen. Amen. Somebody say I'm here. Yesterday, we, we had a wonderful time at Sipumilele. Amen. If you were there, amen. amen. Come on, if you were there, say amen. 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 You cannot keep away from church activities. Can't keep away. Well, we were there. We saw the place. The place we're still constructing. We're still building. We're still making sure that the place is in good shape. Hopefully, we will even use it during this conference for some of our visitors um, that are coming. Amen? And I said something yesterday during the... while well, we were in Sipumilele because some of you were not here. You know, I am old school in some sense and I try to follow the Bible in most times. And we are in a society, in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, 
in, 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 a, in a time when people are very braggadocious, why people are always bragging about what they do, how they do things. And for me, I think basically it is not scriptural. Why am I saying this? You know, we have uh, a welfare, we have a welfare department in this church. And so many young people here are on our school fees. We pay school fees, we pay house bills, we pay rent for people. We, we try to help people that are less privileged in our society, but I'm not that kind of person that will ask them to line up. You understand? I'm not that kind of person that will ask them to line up sometimes because human beings need their pride and their, their dignity needs to be preserved. You can't give somebody 10 rand and tell the whole world you give the person 10 rand. I know other people are doing it. They will bring you up so that people can see. Sometimes they do this thing because of foreign donors. And they take the video and they send to abroad for people to send them money. That's why they do most of these things. Now, but because we don't show you on television or we don't in, uh, announce them, doesn't mean we don't do them. But I think we, we, we need to bring dignity to the lives of people that you bless them and you protect them. When they are in need, we can't tell the whole world, we give you 5,000, 50,000. That for me, that's not how I was trained. So if you're expecting me or people are saying, ah, what do they do for us in this church? Please be quiet because you don't know what we do. You don't know what we do. It was only for the first time I told them in the Sipumilele house that Christ Ambassador's Church has been involved with Sipumilele for 14 years. 14 years. We were giving them 15,000 rand every month. But you don't come and announce these things to feel, to, you understand? We know that's not what we do. Now, a lot of people here, sometimes you get angry. Please, I'm talking because I'm a pastor. I'm not an evangelist that we come with stick to come. No, I'm a pastor, so I express some things because you, you, you have to explain to the sheep sometimes as a pastor. Amen, somebody. Now, there are people that get angry and you hear them, why are you angry? Ah, my uncle died. My son died. Nobody, nobody visited me. How do we know your brother died or your uncle died if you don't tell somebody amen. amen so many of you are they, they just leave i was going but i lost my uncle nobody even called me are we witches you understand we're not witches if you have an uncle that dies come pastor joe is in charge of welfare do you know we support death? We don't, we don't like to announce death because it's not nice. But we have seen families that have lost. Some of you are here, your witnesses. We give them money. We say, how do we help in the, in the funeral? We don't need to come out and make noise. So sometimes when you don't know about a thing, shut up. But if you say you're a member of Christ's Ambassador's Church, we, are, we must be there for you. Pastor Joe, stand up. That's Pastor Joe. And I said, maybe when I announced it yesterday, some people were surprised I'm saying what I'm saying. You know, every ministry has its style of doing things. So when you come into a ministry, find out how things are doing. Don't say because you are from Zoeja. Zoeja, Joeza. Eh? or you are from assemblies of God or you are from Christ's embassy oh, our people they, me I never announce death on this altar never never that's our law don't come and confuse if somebody has died we, sell, we come and we mourn with you but we will not announce that anybody died there here is for life the man that is dead is dead we celebrate. but here we bring life 
Amen. But unfortunately, people die. That's life. And as people die, come and let us know. If you are in a group, you are in a men's fellowship, let your team know. Don't get bitter and angry this church. I'm suffering. We are not God or witches. Tell us what you are going through. Where we can help, we can help. Where we cannot help, don't come and say, hey, some people are lazy now. They don't want to do anything. You understand? And we've told ourselves, because a lot of people are hearing what we're doing secretly, so we see a lot of families from other churches. You want us to help you. Go to your church. Go to your own family. Amen? Don't come and you go and see your uncle somewhere in Pumalanga tell him in our church we have a house we keep people we will not keep you there it's our house we do carry a stranger and put in your house no you must be part of the family hallelujah and how are you part of the family I'm sorry oh. when you are going through problems we will go and check our tight record We will not use some. To the right channel. I'm telling you, if you see our records, you'll be shocked what we do here. God gives us grace. Amen? Are you happy with me this morning? Yeah. Amen. I needed to announce that. So we're here for you. We're a family. Um, number, I have three announcements. Number, number two. This Saturday, this Wednesday, this Wednesday, I'm going to be speaking <laughs> I'll be teaching on the king and his maid. The king and his it is part two <laughs> of the man and his now, this time, we will, fo we will focus on the king. So you must drag your husband here. If you're a man, I'm not, whether you're married or married, as you are looking at me, you, are, you have the components of a man. You have the spare parts of a man. You must be here on Wednesday. And all the sisters say, yeah. The king and his maid. <laughs> That's on Wednesday. Okay? 6 30, please be here. I'm going to be here. All the housewives will come with big notes, tapes, record. We are going to balance it. Because in the Bible, there's a balance. So we must bring the balance. Amen. Amen. But I'll be teaching on what? You see, don't like that maid, ne? <laughs> the king and his maid. That's what we'll be teaching on, on Wednesday. So please be here on Wednesday. One more announcement I'm forgetting. 
the march. We are marching on the 20th. If you are a member of this church, you must be here. Just bring your water, bring your towel, carry your spare car. If your stomach is big and you can't march around Kempton Park, carry your car, follow us behind. When we are tired, Edward, we enter the car if we are tired. Ne? Bring a nice car. If we walk and we are tired. King, last time did you enter a car? You marched. You are with me? You're sure? There was a time you disappeared. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blessed be Jesus. Yes, Jesus, to I am mama. See, I know me love. Everybody should know this song. Soli has done the song. So if Soli has done South Africans know, I had this man's voice. It's nice. Come, come and sing. I was listening to your voice. Come. Maybe because it's Nigerian song. Give me. A, I was hearing his voice. What's, his voice was jumping out from here. To her. To I am mama. To her I am mama. See I know me na. I call you me na. Yes, Jesus. To her I am mama. See I know me na. I need to her I am mama. To her I am mama. See I know me na. says let us praise him for what he has done for us is a Jesus King of Kings let us praise him for what he has done for us <laughs> ah, the man went into the spirit immediately <laughs> hallelujah that's how we sing the songs in our locations <laughs> Okay, I want to specially, specifically, extraordinarily, internationally, continentally, 
invites every member of Christ Ambassador's Church to my official baby dedication. <laughs> Baby dedication will be on the 2nd, on the 2nd of November. It is 2nd of November, it's on a Friday. Amen? It's an all night party. There will be so much food that you can have lunch, dinner. And breakfast. <laughs> Satan will regret delaying me. <laughs> it's going to be huge. As of today, 50 people are flying in. 50 already have confirmed it, that they are flying in. We're not talking about the superstars that are coming from South Africa. 50 people are flying in from everywhere, from Namibia, from, 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 in short, from everywhere, from everywhere, from everywhere, from Zimbabwe, from, we're trying to remember the cities that we've gotten invita invitations. My friends, bishops, apostles, friends, it's, it's a ceremony. I want you to see how we dedicate children. I want you to see how we how we how bible expects you to dedicate to to treat your child amen we will show you the value god places on your offspring what he expects you to do with them amen you you will see it's going to be crazy i'm pleased if you wear a track suit or a gene, I promise you, you will not enter. You will not come and disgrace me here. I am bringing people that smell like rose and cherry. People that smell like... I want men to wear tuxedos, wear your native clothes. You, 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 my goodness. Am I talking to somebody? We are going to have a red carpet almost from the gate. Where's the red carpet? That's from the gate. Red carpet that's coming. Paparazzi and everything. It's an event of the year. And uh, you will know that that day, forget bishop, forget pastor. You will know that my name is Ida Peterson. Forget the titles. You will know I'm a celebrity that day. The, no church, it's not me. Me, I will just come. All the bishops and pastors will do their thing. It is a celebrity dedication. <laughs> Why are you jealous now? <laughs> Hallelujah. So it's happening on the second. I'm telling you, it's happening on the second. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. There will be politicians. There will be everything here. They're just coming. They're just coming. When I say they're coming, they're just coming. The phone calls, my friends, I've invited the hundreds of them and they are going to be here. So come and celebrate with me. Dress just like you're going. This is bigger than Valentine's Day. Dress. And those of you that are here, I think the women and for the men, that's what we call in my place Ashwebi. It is, it is uniform. It's you know, you, you wear it to celebrate with the celebrant. And I think it's available. The ladies are buying it. The men are buying it. It's a special piece of cloth. That's how we do it. So when you come, you'll be different. And those of you that are daughters in this house must connect with us. So that when visitors come, they will know that this group of people, it's not just the men have their own attire. And I think people are sewing them for them. So I think talk to Pastor Sophie. Um, we've imported these things for, for us to look special for us to look special on that day I'm excited I'm excited, hallelujah 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 it, 
is there David here? David. A David. Anybody call David? David. David. Ah, Tabo Shuhaba Dagi Labaladea. Ma San Tabladea. Yeri Ma San Teria. One, two, three, four, five. The Lord said, I should tell you five stones. Five stones killed Goliath. Five stones killed Goliath. He said, hanging one, two, three, four, five months. In five months, the change you will begin to see will shock you. Every month is a stone. 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 Month is a stone. Five months, David had five stones for Goliath. He said, not just at the end of the five, in between five months, you will see God change your life Amen. in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I want to preach, I want to preach this morning. It is beautiful to serve Jesus. It is beautiful to serve Jesus. It is beautiful to serve Jesus. And I want you to know that Jesus is coming again. Yes. Amen? Yes. Jesus will come. Everything is pointing to it. Everything. Everything is pointing to the second coming of Jesus. Prophecies are being fulfilled. Amen. In, in, in American airport now, listen now. In American airports, they are putting chips in the hands of people and in their faces. Here. The chip is like rice, as small as rice. You will not even see it. Now, once you buy your ticket, you order your ticket, your ticket will be put in the system, your ticket details. So you don't need to carry ID or passport anymore. So once you get to the, to the security, the scan, as you put your face, your picture will show. They will check, it's you, pass. <laughs> it's the latest, they're doing it now. They just tried it last week in one airport. So people were so happy. You don't have to go to the security and check your ticket, is that your face, seat number, no. As you book, they give you a seat, they take your details, as they take your details, you understand, your, your, the chips is stored in your details. That's what the Bible told us. That there'll be mark in your hand and mark on your forehead. We were saying, how can this be? He says, or else you cannot buy or sell. In Spain, the biggest nightclub in Spain, every member of the club is given a chip in his hands. And they're already beginning to do it in supermarkets. So if you come to the nightclub, no stress. You just put your hand, the gate will open. It's technology. He said knowledge shall abound. So the things are getting close. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning I'm going to be preaching on the subject, Arise and Shine. Arise and shine. Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 to 3. Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1. The three. Arise, shine. Are you there? Isaiah chapter 60, 1 to 3. Arise, shine. For the light is come, and the glory of the Lord 
is risen upon thee. Verse 2, until 3. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory, somebody say his glory, his glory shall be seen upon thee. Verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to the light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Spirit of Jesus, we ask you this morning to please minister to us. Open up scriptures like you've never opened it before. Let greatness begin to emerge this morning. In Jesus' name. What and how will you be remembered when you leave? How and what will you be remembered for when you leave? I ask the same question again. What and how will you be remembered when you leave this world? Will you be remembered as a drunkard? As a person that drinks too much? Will you be remembered as a woman that had four children or three children? How will you be remembered? Will you be remembered as a man that beats his wife? Or that woman that all she did was to get married. How will you be remembered? If God did not want you to be up in this world, God would not have created you. God did not bring you to this universe to occupy space. But unfortunately, at the end of our lives, so many people, all they will be remembered for is that they came and left. Somebody said, God forbid. How will you be remembered? The Bible says of Methuselah, Methuselah lived 968 years and he died. He lived 968 years. And he died. There is nothing you can point and say this is what Methuselah did on earth. But he occupied more time on earth than any living human being. 968, 65. D days. Or not days. Years. And Methuselah died. Jesus came 33 years. In 33 years, we are still following him till today. What will you be remembered for? Did you fight for a cause? Did you fight against injustice? Did you stand for the truth? Or what did you... Steve Job is dead. He will be remembered in the next two millenniums. Two, two thousand years we will still be mentioning Steve Job. We will still be mentioning Bill Gates. What will you be remembered for? Talk to somebody, just shake the... What will you be remembered for? 
it's a, it's a tough question. It's a very tough question. Ask your friend, why are you here? <laughs> why? Ask the next person by your side. What are you doing here on earth? Mm. I came to challenge somebody this morning. I came this morning with an anger in my spirit. Knowing that you are not here to occupy space. You are not here to have children. You are not here to have boyfriends and girlfriends. That's not the reason why you came to this world. Why are you here? My goodness. It's a question we need to ask ourselves. When you leave, that is when the record will be opened. That you come to this world and you did not leave a mark. I had a friend, his name is Benson. Very funny guy. We were playing football in those days. One afternoon, we came outside the building, our hostel, the camp we were in, and he stood in front of the, build, of the place. He just kept staring. So I, I went to him, I remember, I went to him, I said, I said, Benson, what are you doing here? He said, my father, my father is a disgrace. I said, I said, your father is a disgrace. He said, no, my father is a shame. I said, Benson, are you okay? He said, do you know, have you seen how many cars that are passing here? <laughs> Say, my father did not own one. When my father was living, he left us in debt. That is all, that is how we remember him. Hey! What are you doing here? remembered how will your parents remember you how do you remember how will your children remember you what are you doing here on earth is it to drink bottles of beer is it to sleep in men's house is that why you came what are you doing here how many people's lives have you changed people are waiting for you what are you doing here Isaiah 60 verse 1. He says, verse 1, Arise! Ah, ah, ah. With only that one I can preach. Arise! Somebody say arise! Somebody say arise! Somebody say arise! Somebody say, arise. Tell your neighbor, arise! Tell your friend, arise. It is time for us to rise. We can't continue the things we used to do and expect God to do something in our lives. It is time for the body to rise. It is time for the children to rise. It is time for the men to rise. It is time for the women. Somebody say, arise. Arise. Now, the word arise in the original word means come to your senses. It means what? Come to your senses. Come to your senses. Look deep into your life. And the best truth you can tell is the truth you tell yourself. He said, arise. Hear this. Arise.
Arise means wake up. Wake up. You had a dream before. Wake up. You had faith before. Wake up. You trusted God for great things. Wake up. Arise. Tell yourself, I cannot remain here anymore. You don't hear what I'm saying. I cannot continue my life like this. Something needs to change. Something needs to change. Whether the juju men or juju women are doing something in your village, you do something too. You cannot continue where you are. You cannot lie where you're lying. Somebody shout, arise. I feel it this morning. The Bible says, and the prodigal son said, I will arise. Is that what he said? He said, I'm eating with pigs. I'm supposed to be great. I am here fellowshipping with pigs and dogs. And he spoke to himself. I will. I will arise. I don't know whom I'm talking to here. You think you're old? You think it's over? You think because they said so? I came to tell you. Arise. If you do not rise, you die where you are. How long will you continue to beg your friends for money? How long will you continue to complain? Uncle did not help me. Auntie did not help me. My cousin abandoned me. Those that I, I depended on, they did not do Hey! Arise! Do something. Do something. There are prophecies on your head. You've had dreams and visions that God will use you. That God will bless you. God will do greater things. And you're sitting down and waiting for God. God came with a message to you this morning. His message is arise. One day, you know my wife runs the shop there. She runs the shop. And I came to her one day. I said, Madam, close the shop. I don't know, you don't make profit. Nothing is happening. Close the shop. How much do you make? I will pay you. Then she looked at me. She said, I'm not dead yet. She said, I am not dead yet. Don't kill me before my time. I'm still, there is still something dreaming inside of me. There is still something alive inside of me. Don't kill me before my time. You cannot die before your time. It is time to raise up your head and say, there are things I can do. I can change my neighborhood. I can change my family. I can change my situation. Somebody say, arise. She said, don't kill me. I am still alive. I'm still alive. She checks. How many biscuits did you buy? I said, my God. I said, you're a great woman. She said, I'm educated enough to understand my life does not end here. Some of you have become slaves to men. You have become slaves to women. You have become slaves. They push you around and push you here and push you here and push you here. And every day you are saying, I'm sorry. They beat you, you say sorry. You beat, they say sorry. Everything, you, sorry comes from you. That devil is a bastard. It is time to rise. Pack your things and get away from there. And say, watch and see if something will not happen for me. Watch and see if my life will not be better. Somebody say, arise. Arise. 
Kaboko here. There are different streams of income. How am I talking to somebody? Don't sit as a civil servant and die as a civil servant. I don't know if they have civil servants here. Yeah. Yes, I'm a civil servant. What civil servant? Were you born and called a civil servant? No. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Somebody say, arise. Yes. There, if you have to bake chips, bake chips. But arise. Yes. If you have to do cook my pama, my pama worms, what's that called? Make the best worms. If you have to, listen, I know a young girl, she went and applied for a sweeping job. She's a graduate. She said, I want to sweep. They said, sweep, sweep what? He said, I want to sweep. He said, give me a job to clean your plane. Plane. <laughs> they said, he said, yes. Young girl, beautiful young girl. She was about 22. He said, I can clean plane. I will get people to help me clean plane. They started paying, cleaning plane. She bought a house, built a house. Employed, she, she has an employment of about 250 people. In different cities, they are cleaning plane. That's the work they do. Some of you are wearing coat and tie. And the tie and the coat is choking you. You don't know what to do with your... Oh, God help me. I don't want to say miserable because you are not miserable. The problem is you have refused to think differently. You have refused to arise. Even if you are 60, do you know... Age is in your mind. The president of Malaysia is 93 years. He won an election last year. You didn't hear me. He won an election, not last year, this year. He, 93. He ruled in Malaysia and handed over to a young man. For 15 years, the young man was messing up Malaysia. He came out and called the man. This is not the city we built. But since I left, you have not added anything to Malaysia. What is wrong with young people? Instead of doing things, they are on the internet sending WhatsApp. After you disturb your mother and your father to give you money for data. You can be a problem at your age. Some of you are seven, eight, nine, ten. You need to begin to think as entrepreneurs. Not watching cartoons. Instead of watching cartoons, make your own cartoons. The church is looking for gospel Christian cartoons. Arise. Malaysian president told the guy, if you don't, if you don't get your art right, I'm coming. He you said you're coming where? 92. 15 years he left. So he was in his early 80s and he retired. The guy said, no, you're coming. Wah, 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 wah. He said, okay. He formed another party. Not the old party, that party that, no. He formed another party. Guess what happened? Landslides. He won all, all the people on this other people's, that other party, plus his new party, voted him. He's now the president. The first thing he did, he arrested that criminal. And they found $56 million in his bedroom. That thief. He said, I told you. The country was not moving. Young man, this is what we are having these days. Young men and young women, all they think about is mascara, perfumes, and the things they will rob. That devil is a bastard. If you must rob a mascara, why don't you produce the mascara? Hey, I came to preach this morning. Oh. Am I talking to somebody this morning? I came to wake you up. You've been sitting in one place for too long. There are dreams in your head. If your uncle is not there, do something. Listen. Listen. 
we, we, we do not understand the place of pain. We do not understand that without labor, without labor, without laboring, there is no result. Without laboring, there is, young girls can't cook. They can't cook. They, they can't even boil rice. Am I talking to somebody? Young maidens can't cook rice. You, if you ask them to cook stew, it's like you, you have caused Second World War. Onion will be standing here. Water will be standing here. This will be standing here. Why do you think most of us are going to the village to get married? We are not after your mascara, after your makeup. The root to a man's heart is his stomach. Not you, you are dating him, you say, eat, let's eat out, let's eat out. Let's, let's, I'm coming with, uh, I'm coming with, uh, where's that big thing that they cut into pieces? Pizza. I'm coming with pizza. I'm coming with pizza. Are you home? I'm coming with pizza. Huh. The man will be thinking, if I marry this one, it's pizza every day. Am I talking? Yes, oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. Years ago, you will see a, a shirt and a cloth that you want to wear. Your, your wife or your, your girlfriend will go into the room and go to a sewing machine and tell you, I'm going to make that shirt for you. They go, they make dresses they wear. These days, they put pressure on us to take them to Woodward and to take them to Fabiani and buy 3,000, 4,000 shirts when you can make what? I, I, I came to preach myself happy. Somebody say, arise, 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 arise. The scripture started with wake up. Then the next one says, Arise and shine. Hey! Put it up, put it up for me, put it up for me. Arise and shine. Hey! It says shine, no? Shine. Okay. Let me, let me, let me explain it. To, to shine means stand out. <laughs> he said, as you are rising, you, you know the problem great leaders have with followers? Great leaders like me. Do you know the problem we have with followers? We come with perfection. And the people following don't have the liver. <laughs> yes, sir. They don't have the liver to rise to perfection. Because they don't have the liver, they feel pressured. Yes. And because they feel pressured, they want to pull you down to their level. <laughs> Amen, somebody. They want to pull you down to their level. But the Bible says, arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and stand out. You need to do, the Bible says of the Hebrew boys, he says there were these boys from, he said they had, they had the knowledge, the wisdom of kings. They could interpret dreams and visions. They stood out above the people of Babylon. In a strange land, they made them kings and priests. You don't hear what I'm saying. I'm not talking about grabbing people's land. Go and get money and buy your own land. Don't allow me to walk. And all you do is bring a gun. You bring a gun and take the labors that have labored. You're a fool. Go and walk your own work. Go and make your own economy. Not after I finish working, you show me a gun and take what I've worked for. Holy Ghost! Makatea. 
foolish man. You see a woman and you rape a woman. You don't want to pay Lobola. You have, your, 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 your thing is, uh, control it with money. Get money and tell it, come on, wait till I'm okay. Not you can't, you can't go and rape a woman. That's not how to shine. You can't beat a woman. That's not how to shine. You don't need to tell a woman I'm the head, I'm in charge. What nonsense are you saying? When you are in charge, she will know you are in charge. When she say, I want a Gucci show, you say, how many? Oh, don't let me preach my message on Wednesday. Oh! <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Don't marry anything that comes to you and say, I like you, I love you. What, what has love got to do with it? Can you take me to New York or Paris or Dubai? Or you want me to live in one small room with you with cockroaches and lizards? Go and shine. When you finish shining, you come and take me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, arise and shine. Shine. Don't come and preach, preach, talk, talk, chip. Talk is cheap. Everybody can talk. Even the parrots, even the parrots can talk. But he can't do nothing. We are tired of talkers. We are looking for doers. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody just, 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 just. Glory to God. You don't hear what I'm saying. Sit down, let me preach myself happy. Went to marry my beautiful wife. She was sitting in a desk as a banker, bank office. I was, she was sitting there, and I went to see her. I finished see her. I didn't have to, I didn't wear suits. I didn't wear a tie. I wore a white t-shirt. But the white t-shirt had one sign here, Ralph Lauren. You didn't hear me, you missed me, you missed me. You missed me, you missed me. You missed me. He had one shirt here, it's Ralph Lauren. Then I wore a jean. I'm not sure she even knew. I wore a jean. What's the name of that jean now? You know, if you see it, you will know. I have the jean. Then I, wear, I wore a slippers. But if you see my leg, oh God. It is only people that are not shining that want people to think they are shining. They, for, they force people and they live a false life. They live a false life. When I went in there with my bling, my goodness, I put what the, the, my, 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 my necklace of you. I wore my bling, bling, my watch, everything I just went to. I said, hi. And trust women, they know how to zip zap. You don't need to wear, some of you wear coats and you wear, it's not suits, it's even coats. 1973 coat, 1990, 1990 coat. Some of you don't want to shine if you go to your wardrobe. The clothes you have four years, five years, six years, what are they still doing there? It means you're not shining. Mm. Mm. If you can, if, listen, listen to me, listen to me. How do you know you are blessed? There are clothes you've not worn in the last one year. Mm. There are clothes you've not worn in the last one year. Why? You are reproducing. The more you produce, they get older. There are some clothes I look at and I say, ah. Ah. Did I do this? Did I wear this? But some other people, it's is gold. But I'm moving to the next level. Amen. Come on, somebody talk to me. Amen. He says, I rise. So I, thought, I saw this damsel, beautiful damsel. And uh, I said, hi, how are you? She said, I'm fine. I said, so we started talking one day. The next day, I had to travel. I said, you need to come to South Africa. She said, hey, South Africa visa. I said, no, forget it. You don't need, you don't need to bother. Uh, can I have your passport? They will bring your visa to you. He said, is that possible? We've moved. 
We have moved. There are people that don't queue up again. Oh, oh, listen, I'm about to wake you up. I'm about to wake you up. If you think like this, heaven is waiting for you. The glory of the Lord is waiting for you. You cannot think like you are still in Mugabe era. Mugabe is gone and gone. Mandela is come and is gone. After Mandela came Mbeki, Mbeki is gone. After Mbeki came uh, Gupta, uh, Zuma, Zuma is come. Zuma has come, Zuma has gone. Do you know how many presidents that have come before Cyril Ramaphosa? Some of you are still talking the struggle. The struggle. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. We are in charge now. I said we are in charge now. You don't have a reason to complain. We are in charge now. The person there looks like you. The assistant looks like you. The treasurer looks like you. The accountant looks like you. Are you am I talking to somebody here? He says, arise. And shine. Let me finish my story. I know you're waiting for my story to end. Sit down. Somebody say, I'm here. So she said, I said, I'll bring you a visa. She said, what? I said, I'll bring you a visa. She, they took her passport. One week later, I went to Abuja. I saw the head of commission. I said, my girlfriend wants to visit me. He said, you have a passport? I said, yes. I said, please take this passport to her. Then she went to the father. I want to travel. They said, ma. Then the father said, I don't have money for ticket. You know, men, they're complaining. I don't have money to ticket. Well, she said, no, he's buying the ticket. He's taking care. Eh? When are you leaving? <laughs> Somebody say shine. shine. Somebody say shine. shine. Somebody say shine. shine. Listen, Miss South Africa is a woman. Yes. She will marry one day. Yes. Why not you? Not you. Not you. Why not? I, I don't understand. You understand? Oh, God, help me. Let me not preach some old things about me. In those days when I was single, if you're fine, even if you're entering anywhere, I will follow you. Because I decided not to marry Skoroskoro. Amen? No, my level, no, please hear what I'm saying. And those of you wives that are married, don't pull the husband back. Yeah. Every day you complain, you bite him, you no. You are supposed to be an encourager. Yeah. You tell the man, go and shine. Go and do great things for God. I am waiting for you. I am the modern conqueror. The wife is modern conqueror. You go and conquer, she conquers you. <laughs> <laughs> we walk out though. the women don't even say they, we walk 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 they just say uh, uh, the shoe the shoe is the shoe is 1005 the baby's cloth is this have they not conquered us they are more than conqueror we conquer they conquer the more than conquer <laughs> hallelujah somebody so so I told her I said look I'm going to marry you now when I marry you you resign she said, resign. I said, how much is your salary? She said, should I quit? So she went to one of her friends. Her friend said, don't mind, no. Don't go and be quitting your job. You know how this is. What if? There's no what if. Where I'm going, if can never follow me. What if? What if? Me, what if? No chance. No chance. It, it will be wrong. It will be wrong for me to be poor. It will be, it will be wrong. It will be a sin on your part. I've not finished preaching that. This is maybe I'll do two weeks. So. It, 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 will be an, it will be an injustice that you come here and end up like this. 
and end up like this, just like this. No house for your children. You're, you're, you, you marry a wife, God, for, sorry, if I know things happen. You, you, you marry a wife and you take Uber to take her to the hotel. Not Uber even, taxi. Some people take taxi to take their, I'm not, listen, I'm not here to pity anybody. You understand? I'm not here to pity anybody. You take your, you carry your pregnant wife. They say shift, move, move like this. And you are going, she's going to go and give birth. Inside taxi. And my friend told me something. You know what he told me? He said, work so hard that you don't need to introduce yourself. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. <laughs> work so hard that you don't need to introduce yourself. My name is. No, they see me when I just come. I say, come, Doctor Ida. What can we get you, sir? Or do you know me? Who doesn't know you? Amen. Okay. okay. So now, 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 I told my wife the other day, I'm worried. I'm worried. She said, why? I said, they know me only in Africa. I, I need to cross border. I need to move. I've conquered Africa. I need to go global now. Amen. I told her, resign. I pay you. The other day I asked her, am I a good man? She said, eh? you are the man I prayed for. I said, Top, thank you. Thank you. Amen. You understand? Listen to me. Now I'm about to, let me close. And maybe I'll do part two next week. He says, now here, the, here where the crux of the matter is. Here where the crux of the matter. He says, arise and shine. He did not stop that. He said, for the glory of the Lord. And they put it up. Arise, for your light has come. I don't want to go there. And the glory of the Lord. Hey! You know what he's saying? He says, there is something inside of you. There is a divine ability. There is a divine glory that is able to push out anything you want to be pushed out. Hey, you're quiet, you're quiet. You didn't get me. He says, arise and shine for your light has come. For the glory of the Lord has been risen upon you. He says you are carrying fire. You are carrying a light. He said there is something inside of you. If you don't arise, that glory will quench. I came to tell somebody here, what they say about you does not define you. You didn't hear me. What they say about you does not define you. What you think about yourself does not define you. What they've gossiped about you does not define you. The glory of the Lord is inside of you. And God is waiting for you. I don't know whom I'm talking to this morning. I don't know whom I'm talking to this morning. God is waiting for you. He's waiting for you. He's been waiting for you for years. Hear me? There are things that you are praying about that God cannot answer. It's like you have, you can drive. Can you drive? You can drive, son. And there's a car parked there. And as the car is parked, and you are sitting here praying, they say, this is your car, drive. And you say, makala brosuka pakataya. Every power stopping me from driving. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Every power from my father's house, every power from my mother's house that is stopping me from driving, catch fire. Now, this is what the church has been doing for years. If you are where you, what will you do? What will you do? 
He's laughing. You have to talk like a man or don't behave like a woman. They will lay hands on you. Is this your girlfriend or wife? Who is in charge of this house? Then you don't talk. If I ask Anna, she will say, oh, will you leave here, jump into the car. What will you do? If there's a car parked there and they say take and you can drive, what do you do? You drive. That's the right one. Mama, what will you do? And drive. Long time she will drive and leave you here the way she is. <laughs> you drive. You drive. Am I talking to somebody? You drive. God has given you the staring to your life. You missed me. God has given you the staring to your life. He's telling you to drive. Don't sit back and say, how can I drive? Who will help me drive? How can I manage? No, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Somebody put your hand on your head and say, there is power all over me. Hey, come on, say it like you mean. Somebody shout, there is power all over me. Somebody said, there is glory all over me. Somebody shout, there is glory all over me. Maybe I will continue part two next week. He says, one day, I'll tell you a story, and I've shared it before. Give me a chair. Give me a chair. Give me a chair. I was fasting and praying in 2002 I used to pray I would pray, pray now, now I was in the bathtub in the tub it was winter I remember it was around June the weather was cold the whole place was steaming Father, I will do your will. Anywhere you send me. If you send me anywhere, I will do your will. Father, help me do your will. I had, shut up! Huh? In my bathtub. Shut up! As some of you are doing now. Father, make a way. Father, make a way. Father, make a way. Father, Father if there is no way, make a way where there is no way. Shut up! Then he said this. You cannot sit on your bathtub and ask me to make a way. Wow. You cannot sit on your bathtub and ask me to make a way. He said, get up. There's a building there. Look for the owner. Tell him. Hey. I said, this thing is true. This thing is true. So God called me. Oh. Indeed, God wants me to preach. How am I? Hey, this thing is true. I remember it was to 11. I got up. I wore my jeans, wore my techies. And I went to the place. I saw a young man. I said, who owns this place? He said, Kelvin. I was looking for that name yesterday. He said, Kelvin. Then I went to Kelvin. Hi, Kelvin. He said, are you not the, the footballer? I said, oh, yeah. He said, ah, wow. I watch you sometimes on Supersport. I said, yes. So what can I do for you? 
I said, I want to start a church. Church? He said, I too am a Christian. Where do you want to start? I said, anywhere, just give me one room somewhere. He said, follow me. And we go there. He said, upstairs. Can you use upstairs? I said, anywhere. He said, you can use that place. So when do you want to start? My heart. Tum. Tum. I said, June, July, August. I said, August. But we will prepare the place. He said, come tomorrow and get the keys. I come tomorrow. I get the keys. He said, I said, uh, how much do I, will I pay you? He said, do you know I've been telling God? How, what can I give back to God? I don't know what to give back to God. He said, okay, use the place as my give back to God. Fourth of August, 14 people. My first message I've always told you was Zacchaeus on the tree. I didn't know what I preached. I didn't know what I said. I didn't know how I sounded. I was using a small uh, CD player. I put cassette to play music. Then they, I connected the cassette microphone i bought that microphone 25 rand i connected it to the player that's how i preached for the next three months so this thing that i carry now here this shh, it happened this thing has always been inside I, am i talking to somebody it's always been inside it just needed something to activate it. The thing you carry inside just needs activation. And he has come to tell you this morning that the glory of the Lord is upon you. Am I talking to somebody? The glory of the Lord is upon you. Every professor started as his kindergarten you miss me every professor started as a kindergarten while he was a kindergarten professor was inside of him Hallelujah. Hey. you didn't hear what i said professor was inside of him while he was a kindergarten as he was growing the thing inside of him started to manifest he could solve mathematics. He could solve algebra. He could solve physics. They were all stored inside of him. I came with anger this morning. I came with anger this morning. I came to tell somebody, it is time to manifest. There are multi-millionaires here. There are billionaires here. There are entrepreneurs here. There are fashionist designers here. Don't die with what you have. Don't be just a number like your father, like your mother, like your uncles, like your auntie. If they didn't drive a car, you must be the first to drive a car. If, if they drove a car, you must be the next to drive, drive a ship. If they drove a ship, you must be the next to fly a plane. If they did not travel by air, sometimes poverty is a sickness. Poverty is a thing of the mind. Amen, somebody. Poverty is a thing of the mind. People are poor. They, they take poverty to their children. You go to a shop, your child needs yogurt. You don't even want them to experience yogurt. You go and buy, uh, my, 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 what is that one? That, Makeo. Makeo. You, you ate Makeo. Your uncle ate Makeo. Your grandfather ate Makeo. 
your father is eating macaro, give them strawberry, <laughs> banana. <laughs> Go off your way. Let them experience something different so that they can dream, so that they can believe. Don't always take them to, to Mapoya, Mapoya, Mapoya Mall. What is that thing? Don't always take them to Mapoya Mall. Move them sometimes. Take them to Greenstone. Uh, take them to Mall of Africa. Uh, take them to something. While you walk with them on the hand, tell them one day you are going to be shopping here with kings and with prince. This is where you will buy me my next car. When you take them to where they are selling cars and say in the years to come, this is where, this is where you buy my car, not auction. Somebody told me once, there are accident cars. Don't you need an accident car? Somebody has an accident. You want me to go and carry his problem? We buy an accident car. <laughs> I will not drive an accident car. I've told my wife, I've used my cars, all my cars for 10 years. I said, I need to change my car. When I preach this kind of preaching, that's why I'm angry. One of you would have just said, Daddy, don't worry. I will buy you that car. That's why we are preaching. Not every day you are asking me, no rent. No food for the baby. There are no things happen. Uh, uh, but when will I enjoy this preaching? Or when will your father? When will your father? Now, do you know some of you that have had children? I praise you. I don't sleep. Oh. I don't sleep. 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Hey. And all of a sudden, I'm beginning to appreciate my mama the better. Now, that mama that helped you when you were crying, you are now 30 years. What have you? When? Oh, Kosia me. Hey, you are still going to, uh, telling her to give you taxi fare. You are 30. You are still asking your papa, mama, that same mother for taxi fare. It's a shame. Instead of your mother to be happy, you are getting pregnant for some man in Johannesburg. Your mother doesn't even know him. Is that why you came? Is that why you are here? Is that why you are here? With all the glory and the gift that God has put inside of you. Did you just come to this world to have children in Johannesburg? I know this kind of message you don't like to hear. We're not judging you, but we're saying arise. We know you've been sleeping, arise. The glory of the Lord is upon you. You are different. You are wonderfully made. There is something inside of you. Don't allow you to don't come on somebody. Don't die ordinary. I came to beg you this morning. Don't die ordinary. Don't die ordinary. Don't die ordinary. Don't die ordinary. Father, we thank you for this morning. We give you praise. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name. You are here, you do not know Jesus. Repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins come into my heart. Thank you for dying for me. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Arise, shine, for your light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen. Okay, listen, we're supposed to do water of sweetness. We're going to do it next week. I can't preach anymore. My heart is heavy. Please, water of sweetness. 
glory of the Lord is risen. The glory of the Lord is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise and shine, arise, shine, for your light is come. Arise and shine, arise, shine, for your light is come. For the glory of the Lord.
the world this is distance is not a barrier just like our father in the Lord has declared has preached this morning arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee don't sit down don't wait but arise for God has said it to us we should stand and stand out when we die what are we going to live when we die what will people say about us they will talk about the things that we have done when God has commanded us to do. Now, I pray for you as you are standing out this afternoon. I pray that the hand of God will continue to rest upon you. That anything, any idea that you find to do shall be supported by the Spirit of God. By the grace of my Father in the Lord that is resting upon my Father in the Lord. I decree and I declare that you shall arise, you shall shine, and no devil shall be able to stop you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. 